Hey viewers, hey subscribers, and welcome back to my channel, Aquarian Empress Tarot. For those of you all who are new to the channel, welcome. To my returning subscribers, welcome back, you guys. So I'm super excited. We are doing another pick a card reading, and today we are doing what spirit wants you to know. So I'm going to be using my Coffee Shop Gossip Oracle Deck by Jennifer Aquarius Tarot. So you guys can um, feel free to check out her Etsy shop. I will list the link down in the description box below. Sorry about that. The camera was shaking a little bit. So I'm just going to show the cards real quick. And I'm going to actually use this deck and another deck. Um, it's called Tea Spill. And it's by Tarot by A. Um, and if I can find the link to her Etsy shop, I will list it below as well. Shout out to all of my fellow tarot readers and deck creators. If you would like for me to um, do a review of any of your decks or anything, please feel free to reach out to me. My email is accordingtofristarot at gmail.com. I'm more than willing and happy to help. Help support the love. Help promote your your decks and things. I definitely love tarot. I love tarot decks. I love new decks. It's just the energy for me. So, so we're going to do three different piles, you guys, and see what spirit wants you all to know. So if you're watching this video, just take a moment to breathe in deeply. Get yourself into a very calm, peaceful, meditative state. So that way you can um, really receive the messages that Spirit wants you to know. All right, so we got the Coffee Shop Oracle and here is Tea Spilled, Tarot by A. So she's the creator of this deck. Shout out to her as well. And I'm gonna list the link down below. So let's see what Spirit wants you guys to know. All right, and if it resonates, please do me a huge favor and leave a comment down in the comment section below. Um, also, if you enjoy the reading, please thumbs up the video and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to turn on your post notifications, okay? Also, if you'd like to book a full detailed reading um, about your particular situation, my website is AquarianInfersTarot.net. All right, so without further ado, you guys, let's get into the reading. So I want to put a rose quartz. I'm going to put a blue lapis. And I'm going to put, oops, is this green? This is green. I don't know what kind of crystal this is, but it's the green. We're going to go with that. So I'm going to say it's some form of venturing. Here, let's use this one. This, one's, this one looks more venturing, so we'll use that one. All right. And if we need to clarify, I have my tarot deck right here in case we need to clarify. So close your eyes, take a deep breath, and inhale and exhale so get yourself very calm very relaxed um, look at each pile and whichever one you feel the most drawn to choose that pile and that pile is a message from spirit what spirit wants you to know so let's go with pile number one this is a beautiful blue my piece just so you guys can see how beautiful blue that is it is gorgeous it's like an indigo color so let's see what message of spirit has for you guys. If you chose this pile, let's go with it. So the tea being spilled and the gossip around the corner. We've got unknown, mystery, undisclosed, okay? So we're gonna go with that. All right, y'all. We also have fake flexing. We also have wanting you <laughs> don't be a fool is what spirit says um curious so you see the eye here okay mm -hmm. i'm seeing the storyline we have astral travel and we also have not interested we also have beauty and brains that's like balance you see the scale this person thinks that you have both beauty and brains is what I'm feeling, what I'm picking up here or vice versa. We also have caution, okay? And that's always a warning from spirit. So if you chose the blue lapis, it's a warning from spirit about the unknown. Some of you guys are um, maybe back out on the dating scene. You've gotten to start 
talking to someone new. Um, and this is very mysterious. It's new energy. You don't really know this person a lot. So you're really trying to take your time to get to know this person. Spirit so saying this person may be fake flexing or you need to be aware of fake flexing. Pretending to be something that you're not or them pretending to be something that they're not. Spirit says be cautious, right? Use caution. Move very slowly in these types of situations where it's something new. Don't be so quick to get caught up on somebody um, because they seem, they appear to have, be the whole package with this beauty and brightness here. That's what Spirit wants you to know. Um, and be cautious of someone, you know, um, what they call love bombing you. Where they're just overly, you know, affectionate and overly nice and all of this stuff. Spirit says that's a red flag. So be cautious of it. We also have not interested and we have astral travel. So with that not interested, it's like um, you may have thought that this person wasn't interested in you. And now all of a sudden they're, they're kind of displaying that they're interested in you. Astral travel is that spirit, your spirit guides may have been giving you messages like in your dreams. So pay attention to your dreams. If you have a dream journal, write them down because sometimes spirit speaks to us in dream messages as well. We've got curious. Um, they're curious to get to know more about you, but you also need to be curious so that you can figure out whether or not you're interested. If you're not interested, you can move along quickly. Or if this person could possibly, you know, be um, someone that you want to pursue a relationship. Spirit says, don't be, don't be a fool. So don't fall for any of the, the gimmicks or, you know, flattering words. Actions speak louder than words. And we have wanting you. Yeah, this person wants you bad. I mean, real bad. Okay, real bad. So, <laughs> Spirit says, caution. So, that is the message for pile number one, what Spirit wants you to know. Um, you know, you know that saying, err on the side of caution. Like, if you just, if it doesn't feel right, don't force it, okay? So, if you chose pile number two, this is the rose quartz. So, we're going to pick that up. We've got, ooh, travel, trip going away. Some guys are planning a trip. You guys may be going on vacation. I'm loving it. Let's see, we got need space. Yeah, some of you guys need some time away or some time apart. We have incoming offer. Um, you guys may be meeting someone new. Could be um, a friend, could be a lover, but somebody coming into your energy. We've got children. This person could have children, just so you know. If this is um, a love situation or somebody that may be coming your way, um, and for those of you all who are parents, the spirit is saying you need some space. You need some time alone. We've got acting so childish. Um, you guys may be with someone that you have children with and you're waiting on this person to give you a solid offer also with this incoming offer. Sometimes this person may act childish. We have spiritual connection. So you guys have a really strong connection. We've got twin flame, yeah. So on a soul level, you guys are connected. And we've got sorry. This person also may be giving you an apology. That could be the incoming offer too. This person could be giving you an apology um, for acting childish. Um, and I feel like this relationship, if this resonates with you, this, this relationship... Um, has been eye-opening for the both both of you, you and your person, and they realize that they've acted childish in certain, certain situations, and they do feel regret and remorse, so that's why sorry is here. Um, and then you have purple rain, temporary sadness, yeah. Um, so there's, you know, there's hot and cold moments between you and this person. Some of you guys could be in a connection with this person. You guys have children. Both of you guys sometimes could act a little childish, just being honest with you. Um, you have children. You guys have children. Um, you may be wanting this person to kind of solidify the relationship. Like, I mean, like almost marriage proposal is what I'm getting. Like you want to take the relationship to the next level. Um, but you also feel like you guys need some time apart. So this may be a good time for you to plan like a girl's trip, a night out, um, just to have fun and unwind and that type of thing. So if you chose Rose Court, Spirit's message is it's time to get out, baby. It's time to get out. It's time to see new places, experience new things. All right. So let's go to the green. I want to say this is adventuring. So let's go to the green adventuring and see what that's about. We got tea spilled. Okay. We got psycho. Okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> Somebody might be a little crazy. 
Um, and I don't know why, as soon as I saw this, I heard that song by Rihanna and Eminem. I'm friends with the monster that's under my bed. Along uh, with the voices inside of my head. I don't know why. Um, but it's not fair. Y'all know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about. But yeah, just a little bit special. We, we've got Lover Not a Fighter, Be Mine. So you guys could be dealing with a Libra or someone that has Libra placements. Why did I get that? I don't know. But it says a lover, not a fighter. And I guess I, I'm picking up Libra energy because this person it could be very diplomatic. Like they want to make the peace. It says, such a romantic. I love you. <laughs> this person is crazy. Okay. So I'm hearing crazy in love by Beyonce. So this person is crazy about you. We got spice it up. Okay. So this person could be very sensual, sexual. And we've got leave me alone. And y'all may not want to be bothered with this person because you feel like they're just a little bit wild. Um, we have haunted past. Yeah, this person may have been wild in their past. So you you really don't know if you want like all of that with this person. We got to celebrate though. You should, you should be celebrating um, the fact that you guys are in love. The fact that this person really adores you in that way. Like they have strong feelings for you. <laughs> <laughs> but some of y'all don't want to be bothered we also have baby i'm my own boss and we also have proposal so you guys may be very independent and that could be what they find very attractive about you guys like that's what makes them crazy about you and they actually may feel like you could be the one so with that proposal card but this person is crazy about you so if you chose pile number three uh, whoever your person is, they're crazy about you and you ought to celebrate because this person sees you as the one. Okay. Yeah. So maybe this person has had a crazy past, you know, but, um, yeah, they want you and they want you real bad. Okay. Real bad. So that's been you guys' pick a card reading. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Please leave a comment down in the comment section below. Be sure to thumbs up the video, subscribe and hit that notification bell. And until next time, love you guys.